If you are struggling with life's stickier issues, want to grow in your relationship with God and become everything you were created to be, then you are in the right place. In case we haven't met yet, my name is Chris Reese, and if this sounds like something you could benefit from, go ahead and click the subscribe and notification button so you don't miss a thing. Today, we're going to talk about three ways that God calls you into your purpose. Have you ever wondered what you were created to be? Now, I certainly have. I spent years of my life uh, raising a family, running a business, and otherwise enjoying life. But I always felt like there was something missing. And I pondered the possibilities of what God created for me. Yet, all that wondering didn't bring me any closer to grasping my calling. And it kept me from being receptive enough to understand how God was with me every step of the way, leading me into my purpose. And I believe it is the cry of the Christian's heart to fulfill that special calling that God has placed on their life. However, many make the mistake in believing that God will clunk them over the head, use a megaphone, or provide some magical burning bush moment to reveal their purpose. And we wait and we wonder and we get frustrated, but we don't observe and listen. And rarely does our life calling come prepackaged with a list of ingredients and instructions on how to execute it. Rather, the discovery of our purpose is meant to be a journey. And since our personalities and our experiences are all unique, how God reveals our purpose will be unique as well. And just like people in the Bible, I have found that there are three ways in which God calls you into your purpose. The first one is positioning. And we're going to talk about Joshua today. You see, Moses was the chosen leader of the people of Israel, and Joshua was his faithful servant. And after the death of Moses, Joshua was called to continue in Moses' mission. And despite his fear, Joshua was commanded to, was not commanded to be Moses, but rather to follow in his footsteps. And the Lord spoke to Joshua clearly, appointing him to be the one who will lead the Israelites into the promised land. And he was commanded to be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's Joshua 1.9. Under Moses' leadership, Joshua was positioned perfectly to fulfill his purpose. And if you're wondering when your time will come, perhaps it would help to remember that the leader you may be serving under may be the one God uses to position you to step into your calling. Number two, prodding. Moses had an incredible calling to deliver God's people from slavery and to take them into the promised land, yet he felt unfit to fulfill his calling even though he had the proverbial burning bush moment. Well, Moses resisted God's call with retorts like, oh, I'm not eloquent, or there's got to be someone else you can use. You can find this in Exodus 4.10 and Exodus 4.13. And yet, even though Moses felt ill-equipped, and in many ways he was, with God at the helm, all things are possible. And after some prodding, Moses conceded to his call. So is, is God trying to convince you of your call? Well, you would do well to have a few people in your life who can encourage you to step out in what you believe that God is calling you to do. After all, iron sharpens iron. But even if you don't have that person in your life, the Holy Spirit is your witness, and that is all you need. And number three, pulling. Few people have a stronger personality than the Apostle Paul. And prior to his conversion, Paul, then Saul, was committed to do what he thought was his purpose of persecuting Christians. And he was steadfast. He was determined, but God had a different plan. And on the road to Damascus, Paul was pulled into his new calling through an encounter with the Lord Jesus. And thankfully, Paul responded to that pull with equal vigor. Are you the strong-willed type that God needs to strike down to get your call across? You would do well to remain humble and yielded to God's plan as you confidently move forward in what you know to do. 
whether our Lord's positioning you, prodding you, or pulling you into your purpose, I pray that you persist until you reach that calling that glorifies him so awesomely. For my friend, we are all God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for you to do. So how do you feel God is calling you into your purpose? Is he positioning, prodding, or pulling you? Let me know in the comments below. If unfulfilled dreams have left you feeling disheartened or disconnected, you can trade those feelings for a positive plan to discover you and God in your journey. And that's what my new book, Make It Matter, is all about. It's a roadmap to living a life of purpose. And I am so excited to announce that it is available now on Audible. And when you purchase the book, whether it's the hard copy or the audio, audio version, you will have access to all of the free printable worksheets along with all of the other free resources to help you live out your calling in Christ. But before we go, I have a gift for you. If you are ready to answer the cry for purpose with the determination to discover, then I want to invite you to join us for your free five-day Created with Purpose devotional. This devotional is yours free. I will go ahead and include a link in the description section below. I want to encourage you to get started in discovering what God wants you to do with your life because my friend, you have an amazing purpose. And until next time, I pray you remember all things are possible with God.